Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I'm mocking, giving you my views, thoughts, and opinions. That's Gojo you saw in the background. Big Chiefs fan, Big Mark is what it is. Today we look at Todd McShay a couple of days ago. Came out with a two-round mock draft. He has, a, I think, just one or two trades in it. I'm not positive. I just saw I have trades. So we're going to look at that. But what's crack like here? It's your boy, Broshmo, just in case you did not know. So... Go ahead, become a bro, and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And as always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I always look forward to having that nice, beautiful football discourse uh, as well. Probably we will. We're gonna do a walk the mock tomorrow and tonight. Um, I might do tomorrow's a bit early because I want to have a, my own mock draft come out. I haven't done a mock draft where it's just me making the picks in like a week and a half so i want to do that but i still have a seven rounder on the channel go ahead check that out todd mcshay the goat let's check what you got going on here using a little x clear real quick because allergies are crazy right now oh that's the good stuff all right i imagine pick one aiden hutchinson yes it is don't really need to talk about this uh, it's kind of the unanimous pick for a lot of people uh, since they've gone, they've tagged Cam Robinson, they brought in Sheriff, uh, they want to see more of Jawan Taylor. Can you take that next step? I'm not going to say they're out of the Evan Neal debate just yet, but Aiden Hutchinson, the locker room leader, culture, uh, culture change in player. Uh, on top of that, probably a, a safer guy than a KT. I saw that brought up in the comments and I was like, yeah. I really like KT too. I think he's right up there with Hutchinson, but you can't deny it. it feels like Hutchinson might be the safer prospect to go with. I mean, you could deny it. I mean, eh. to each their own. So let's see what uh, Detroit's got cooking here. Trevon Walker. If you don't know, he is now the odds on favorite for that pick at number two. I'd still like to go KT. Uh, Quarterback, I don't think is really an option. Trevon Walker, I get it. The upside, it's so immense. It's crazy. Uh, I think in any other class, right? Like, I listen, this guy would have probably been a top 10 pick next year. The rise, it's immense. The combine, it's legit. Like, I get it if you're going to reach on his potential. Especially a team that's like, we're going to be competitive, but not necessarily compete it next year. So, Okay, yeah. If you think he's that good, go for it. Uh, the Houston Texans. KT. My boy, Kayvon Thibodeau. Listen, I'm a brand guy. I don't mind KT. Uh, some people think he's egotistical. Some people didn't like that he decided uh, after saying he was going to participate in the drills at the Combine. All of them. He only did a couple and decided to save the rest for his pro day. Listen, I don't really care about that. Like, it's a business decision at the end of the day. Whether your agent's like, uh, maybe save this on and when you have a home field advantage, the home field clocks. I get that. I understand that. I don't really care. You go back to the tape, it's wonderful. If you think he's got character issues, then knock him off your knock him down your board. I don't have those issues with him. So I like this pick for the Texans. Preferably, listen. I'm right now in the camp of, I like OT here. I like wide receiver at 13. I like getting a quick evaluation of Davis Mills going into next year. Again, that's just my opinion. Going the other way with like a KT, like it's all right. It's a okay. Are you tired of spending 80 to 100 bucks on your favorite team's jerseys just to watch those players go to greener pastures? Then check out Team Jersey Pros. They do custom made shirts, jerseys, and hoodies. And with promo code BROSHMO, all caps, you get 10% off that order. You can get some fine drip for only 30 to 60 bucks, depending on how you want to customize it. You can go with a football jersey, basketball jersey. I personally went with a baseball jersey. Even, even got the logo there. It just looks nice. It's one of the best ways to support the channel. Don't forget promo code BROSHMO. All caps gets you that 10% off. But anyway, back to the video. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, the Jets, they go Garrett Wilson. Yo, uh, franchise guy said this. Uh, 
Mr. Marcus Whitman when we were doing our mock. I understand the logic that you think you might need a trade up from 10 to get ahead of a team like the Falcons because that he there's a good chance wide receiver goes there and Garrett Wilson you think he's the guy then yeah go take him I don't mind that if you're gonna take him before I just I don't mind it is it a bit rich a little bit but Garrett Wilson's in my top 10 so I guess it's not that rich I like Garrett Wilson a hell of a lot as a player I don't disagree with the take that I don't disagree with taking him here at uh four I get it. I understand. You get a legit receiver there opposite of Corey Davis as you have uh, Elijah Moore in the slot. But then, I mean, between Wilson and Moore, both those guys are interchangeable inside and outside. Uh, Akem Wanu, the sticky icky going to the New York Giants. OT has to be the pick here. I'm glad they did it. Uh, you might want to kind of big brain this just considering the Panthers are next. And if you... I mean, hold on. I mean, yeah, no, you might be okay with taking like Sauce or someone else with this pick. Knowing that you're gonna get you're gonna get like the You're gonna be able to get one of the top three tackles in this class at seven. Maybe if you've honed in on a guy, just go ahead take it if it comes that guy he's that guy but with evan neal still here with Corey cross still here and icky i might go the other way and then just go tackle at six or uh, seven excuse me and then kenny pickett listen i'm just saying there's a lot of rumors there's a lot of people saying hey this might be a thing could it be smoke and mirrors quite possibly but it really sounds like Kenny Pickett might be the first quarterback off the board unless someone wants to trade up ahead of Carolina to ensure they get a Malik Willis. So, uh, yeah, I know Carolina was meeting with, no, it was the Steelers, I think, that met with Sam Howell and Desmond Ritter this week. So it sounds like the Steelers might be interested in this quarterback class as well. All right. Kyle Hamilton going to the Giants. I like this. I I had the we I we saw you saw this during the mock with uh, uh with Marcus that when it comes to scheme fit like Kyle Hamilton obviously not every player is going to be right for every scheme but also I think if you're a good coach you could ra like you could instead of grabbing players that fit your scheme you could fit your scheme to your players and like after the video. Like I kind of, I was kind of like talking about this. Like, man, I really still feel like if Kyle Hamilton, even like, cause this was for Washington in that case, even if he might not be like perfect or ideal for a quarter scheme, like I, I still think they could make it work. They could find a role for him in there, just with the type of versatility that he has. Um, I really do, and I mean, w with the Giants here, you're kind of going to see a very similar scheme to that, so, <clears throat> excuse me, is that X clear, but uh, yeah, I don't know, looking back now, I think I might rather take the Kyle Hamilton with the Washington pick there, but yeah, no, he's a wonderful pick, I only bring that up because, again, we're working with a team with a very, s at least for the most part not identical but similar schemes so oh then again no they got uh i was thinking of patrick graham they don't have uh they have uh was it winkdale now so they're gonna be going more man okay so yeah maybe a little maybe that's irrelevant now now that i now that it dawns on me are we gonna are we gonna, am I gonna take this out of recording? Heck not, dude. You're gonna see my brain at work. And uh you would probably just correct me in the uh, comment section below anyway. So hey. <laughs> uh Drake London going to the Falcons. Listen, their wide receiver core is a hot lot of nothing. So yes, grabbing a receiver would be ideal. I think trade down would be a very tantalizing option. But if they can't get out of here, then go on with the their top receiver go for it yeah drake london making it here he will test out in eight days april 15th at his pro day so we will get to see him don't expect a wide receivers position rankings till after that 
All right. The Seattle Seahawks go Evan Neal. Wonderful pick. If I'm if I'm the Seahawks, I will just let's watch how the board falls. I want to take some solid talent. That that would be great here. Uh, Mod Gardner going to the Jets. I like bringing talent to the position. I'm a big fan of that, especially it being the corner position. Bringing in talent, bringing in competition. Uh, they brought in DJ Reed. They have Bryce Hall. They have Equals. They have uh, Gidry and Michael Carter. Like I think bringing Cro like Gardner sauce to that is wonderful. So I don't mind it. Uh, other areas you could go because what they went. They went Garrett Wilson. Okay, so this would actually be very similar to the mock draft I did uh, with uh, that franchise guy. Yeah, I like Sauce. Uh, let's see where Stanley falls. So Chris Olave has actually been talked a lot about going about going at this pick to the Commanders. Uh, Parable with Scary Terry. I like. I I really like that as an option. It feels a bit rich at eleven. But again, you don't want to move down a little bit and then miss out on Olave. So if he's your guy, then just go ahead and snag him. I don't mind it. So I like it. I like I like it. Uh, Der yep, Derek Stanley. He just tested out uh, yesterday, I think, or the day after. I can't remember. But uh, no, he, he looked good. He looked great. You take him here. You brought back Patrick Peterson. You got Cameron Dantzler. You bring in Derek Stanley. And you know, I mean, Derek Stanley literally took Patrick Peterson's number, the sacred number seven. So, yeah, Patrick Peterson maybe could do some coaching up there. So, there we go. Well, the Houston Texans, Charles Cross. Wow, they make out like a bandit here. So, still being able to bring in one of the top tackle prospects at 13 is solid. Go ahead, maybe find some receivers in the later rounds. That's that's a okay but i do like them getting protection you're gonna obviously you're gonna have cross moving to the right side which might not be ideal he's played left his whole career is what it is some guys can make that transition just fine some can't we'll see can't deny the talent of cross so let me all talk about oh man titus howard he's or yeah howard he's He's the right tackle. He played more snaps at left guard last year than he did at tackle in general. And, uh, yeah, I know he was used as the right tackle boy, uh, heavily beforehand uh, going into the last season, but also he was largely considered a lumen bust. So I think it's likely they're just not sold on him at tackle and they're going to move him to guard. All right, Baltimore Ravens. Jermaine Johnson. It was so wild in that mock draft we did that Jermaine Johnson fell that far. It like he fell to the Chiefs pick. And it, it listen, the NFL draft, good players, they fall. It happens. Uh, I like the pick for the Ravens here. Uh they get a guy that uh legit it allows Tyus Bowser to really be that versatile piece that could drop back into coverage, line up. Um, really at any of the linebacker positions as well. Like he, he is a bit versatile in that regard. So he isn't, you don't have to use him as this, uh, constant blitzer. They even brought back Justin Houston, uh, Houston. So yeah, Jermaine and Owe would be a fierce pass rushing duo with a little Bowser sprinkled in Philadelphia Eagles, Trent McDuffie. I love Trent McDuffie. I'm a huge fan. I think he, he's probably going to be a very, uh, more than likely you're going to want him in off coverage just because the length's not ideal. And he's very, like, for the most part, he's been a very zone-schemed receiver because of Washington. That's what they do. But, yeah, no, I like him going to the Eagles here. The guy is a wonderful athlete. We saw him test out, and he looked a good. New Orleans Saints, Trevor Pettin. They get their replacement for... Um, uh, Taron Armstead, how can I forget your name? I'm a Dolphins fan. I waited like two days for you to sign with them. But they get a replacement there for him. I don't know who it was. I don't want to say y'all because it wasn't everybody in chat. It was one guy who was talking about Ryan Ramshack <coughs> moving to right guard. Uh, Pete going to right tackle. 
I don't know, some messed up stuff. And I was like, dude, your guard position's trash. He was like, oh, Ryan Ramshack was actually a multiple Pro Bowl. And I was like, he's a right tackle. What are you talking about? Oh, shucks, man. I hate I hate seeing those comments and I was like, I'm pretty positive that's false, but I gotta go and check just in case. And I end up oh no, yeah, no, that was it's completely false. What is this nonsense? Wild. Or it could have been talking about Eric McCoy, who really is a mainstay at center. He can play either guard position. I think that might have been it. But really, the guys that have been playing guard for the Saints are Pete uh Throckmorton and um Cesar Ruiz who all have not been that good but uh yeah no pen this, see this is this is what I'm saying about like the Chargers could move if they really do like Pennon they could move up because they think a team like the Saints might take them so if they like Pennon they're gonna move up for Pennon I know that doesn't sound great to some y'all but Hey, man, sometimes that's the cold, hard facts of the draft. Uh, this is a trade up here. So rivals trade with one another. Don't know if this would actually happen considering how crazy close the AFC West is going to be this year, or at least how close it feels it's going to be. But in this scenario, the Chiefs move up. I assume this is, they say for a pass catcher, this has to be Jameson Williams. Uh, like Traylon Burks could be interested, but it's probably, J this has to be Jameson Williams. Just thinking about you just lost Tyreek. So going with Williams here would just be nuts. So the uh, Chargers move back. Does he mention what all? He doesn't mention exactly. Oh, wow. So they get 29, 62, and 94. Okay. Well, that's legit. It is, in fact, Jameson Williams. So they get that speed threat. Okay. And they also pick up 62, which we'll see later on in this draft, as well as 94, which we will not. Uh, let's move on to the Saints. Eagles. Eagles take Devin Lloyd. I know they brought in uh, White. They have TJ Edwards. Uh, they have guys like Sean Bradley and... Um, Davion Taylor, but listen, man, you need more talent in the linebacker position. If you want to go linebacker, pull the trigger here. That's fine to me. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, I know that's something historically the Eagles haven't done, but like thinking of the other options here, what, you go with the interior? You could go with Traylon Burks. Uh, not opposed to that. Uh, they did take McDuffie. Maybe they jump on one of the safeties like Daxton Hill, Lewis Seen. Those are probably the those two, I think, could sneak into the first round. Um, a lot of people are getting high on Daxon Hill, so he seems more likely, but I think it's seen I have actually a little bit higher. But, yeah, let's see what the Saints do. Jordan Davis, they get a big, meaty boy. So they got Onyemata and Tuttle are only under contract for one more year. Okay, that's a bit interesting. Um. I guess it depends what Payne and Turner is. Is he just a versatile piece or is he really just a true edge? But no, Jordan Davis, that, that, that could, that'd be fine. I'd be okay with that. You would think you would go with receiver here because uh, what you still have Burks on the board. Yeah, he's the, he'd probably be, he's that fifth receiver. You're waiting to see where he may go. Uh, Malik Willis going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Listen. Listen, there's like a legitimately like a legitimacy to this. Mike Tomlin was talking to Malik Willis's folks. You just don't do that. You just don't. Yeah, let me adjust my screen here real quick. There we go. You just don't. So I think there might be a likelihood that they they make a move on. Malik Willis, or at least quarterback at, in the first round. New England Patriots, N'Kobe Dean, dude. N'Kobe Dean's nasty playmaker. Uh, unfortunately, could test out. There's going to be questions. Is this guy athletic? Is he a product of a phenomenal defensive line? He's small, or at least he's short. 
Um, listen, the guy made plays. Made a ton of plays. I'm still a big fan, so if they take him here, that's A-OK. -okay. Jahan Dot. Oh, wow. OK, OK. Bye-bye, uh, Traylon Burks. Uh, the Packers, they get not necessarily the size because they got size with, like, Lazard. And, again, that's really their only receiver there outside of, like, what, Cobb and Monty Rogers. So they grab Dotson, who I think is a number two, a high-end number two in the NFL. So, I don't know, man. I just don't. I like the prospect, but the Packers, I might be looking for that next. Like, I get, again, you're not drafted in a good place to really make a bid on the top wide receivers in this class. I mean, they have enough draft capital to do it, though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then, actually, there goes Traylon Burks to Arizona. I actually like this. They go ahead. They uh, get an A.J. Green replacement. Uh, obviously, A.J. Green is in the later parts of his uh, career. But, no, I like that. Hopkins, Rondale Moore, Traylon Burks. That's scary. They could go defense here. Obviously, edge rusher is kind of a big need. But uh, I don't mind them going Burks. And then the Dallas Cowboys go George Karloftis. This is nice. Uh, they did bring in Dante Fowler. They brought in... Um, they bring in anyone else? Well, they brought back their safety core for the most part. I think the only guy that really left was Keanu Neal, who they were using as a linebacker anyway. Uh, linebacker could be an interesting thought here. Corner with Booth still on the board. Uh, maybe you go with Elam. I mean, either of those two are wonderful options. Uh, I mean, Zion Johnson. I think Zion Johnson, I might go with that. But I get it. Karloftis is really good. So, if you don't want to pass up on him, that's fine. Uh, Andrew Booth going to the Bills. Great scheme fit. Not much to talk about here. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't test out because of a few injuries, but... Like, you just watch the tape this year. You know the type of player you're getting. Christian Watson going on the Tennessee Titans. Wow, a lot of receivers. This will be our seventh receiver gone in this mock. That's wild. So Christian Watson to the Titans, they get, uh, I guess this is, I mean, Woods and Brown both can kick the slot at any given moment. Uh, Watson gives you that vertical threat. Like a scary big man vertical threat, like with separation. He's not really a contested catch guy. So, yeah, no, that's kind of nice. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, no Zion Johnson yet. They go Devontae Wyatt. I think this is what I did in the mock uh, to be the replacement for Sue, the replacement for William Golston. I know Golston's on the team, but uh, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, no, this is solid. I like Devontae Wyatt. I think he's definitely going to the first. Uh, let's see where Zion Johnson and Tyler Linderbaum, by the way. I'm still a big fan of that guy. It's just where he goes, nobody knows. Green Bay Packers go Kenyon Green. Over Zion Johnson. This is interesting. So... I guess this means you're still keeping Jenkins at tackle. Which I'm not going to lie. I'd rather him at guard. I know Green has played guard. Or played tackle. Listen, I know. Just read that here. I know. Do I think he could do it in the NFL? I think potentially. I'm not as sold as much as I once was after the test in. But I still think he probably could. I don't know. This one's a bit interesting to me. Uh, the Chargers are going with Zion Johnson. Wow. I mean, they're going to have to move him to the right side, which is fine. Again, I'm, I'm kind of like, I've, since the beginning of the process, I've been a little less lenient on like, man, do you really want them to move to the opposite side? They're going to literally have to take everything that they learned how to do one way and like change that, like become I guess ambidextrous in that regard. But I think that I think that's fine and possible. Uh 
I mean, this is good. This is good value. I don't mind this. And then Boye Mafe, he's a very popular pick to the Chiefs at this point. Uh, the dude tested out like a freak. Good on him. I got a fun comp for him, by the way. Well, I had a fun comp, and then I'm probably going to go with the other comp. Like, because it's more recent. I'm trying to steer away from some of these comps. Like, I remember growing, like, these players I remember growing up and trying to compare them to players now. And I'm trying to trying to go with at least a few more recent comps but uh, i got a fun one for uh mafe when that prospect ranking video comes out by the way that's the thumbnail tyler linderbaum go to the Bengals. great value you're not passing on it not much to talk about here cars can play guard and then Desmond Ritter, the Lions fans. Oh, man. Oh, the Lions fans in the comments. I can see y'all right now. We ain't going to do that. And, you know, you know, you might not. I'm not opposed to y'all not doing it. I'm just saying you get the fifth-year option. It makes sense if they do go quarterback here. I'm just going to say that, especially if quarterbacks fall down the board. Uh, like Desmond Ritter, I think he's like 29th on my big board currently. So, Let's open the second round. Uh, Kyler Gordon, the first pick here. He's a bit interesting because they did bring in Darius Williams, who's probably a guy that can play on the outside, but probably going to play a lot more in the slot. Kyler Gordon, similar in that fashion. Maybe they're not sold on Griffin. Uh, they got Tyson Campbell there too. But hey, man, cornerback depth's never a bad thing. Daxton Hill going to Detroit Lions. Phenomenal pick. Give it a thumbs up. The New York Jets go Arnold Ebiketti. They get that pass rusher, Arnold Ebiketti. Tested out way more explosive than you anticipate him to be. Still, you go back and you want to trust the tape a little bit more, which tells me his get-off is it's probably above average, but it's not nearly as gr good as how he tested. But the dude's still a phenomenal player. Like This guy has so many like counters and combos to his pass rushing moves that it's wild. He's NFL ready. Sky Moore going to the Giants. Hey, man, another guy that kind of fills that slot role for the Giants because, what, you got Sterling Shepard, you got Kadarius Toney. Like, not to say Sky Moore is just like a – he's not. I think you can play him on the outside. But when your team's composed of a lot of guys that are similar in that vein, like, uh, might not be the way you want to go. Uh, Houston Texans, Jalen Pitry. Oh, I'm kind of indifferent about this because, well, if you're going to play him at safety, I guess that might be fine. But I really think his place is in the slot, and they have Desmond Keen there. So, not that he's a long term option, but I don't know. I think there could have been sexier picks here for the Texans. The New York Jets, Quay Walker, their linebacker room sucks. Makes sense. There's going to be a lot of good day two linebackers. Tyler Smith going to the Bears. Good pickup. Tyler Smith, another guy that I think could sneak into the first round. Does he? We'll find out. <laughs> uh, but he's a guy that probably starts guard first. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe he starts right tackle initially for this squad. If they're moving Larry Borum into right guard, so... I don't know. Tune in later to find out. Back-to-back uh, -back picks here for the Seahawks. They go Matt Corral. They don't have to go quarterback in this class. Do I stay away from quarterback? I probably would. I probably would just try to be getting very good players with very big upside. Hey, look, Akila decided to show up in the video. My other dog. Akila, say hi to the fans. Oh, you don't want to? Okay. Bye, Akila. Just see the little husky shark tail. All right, let's see what their next pick is. Uh, Logan Hall. Ooh. This one's interesting. I already went over the Chiefs, Gojo. This one's a bit interesting. Uh, I'm definitely intrigued by it. I'm just messing everything up right now. Uh, I'm not exactly the highest guy on Logan Hall, so I mean it might just be a me thing, but he's just a bit of a tweener that I think ends up just being an edge. I don't know if he's a guy that can stay on the inside. 
Uh, just consider, I really think play strength is going to be a problem for him. So interesting. I get it. He does have upside in terms of how twitchy he is on the interior, but I don't know, man. I don't know. George Pickens going to the Colts, man. Woof. So pairing him up with Michael uh, Pittman, then you got hopefully a healthy Paris Campbell. Uh, I don't know if they got T.Y. I think T.Y. is back. Not sure. But, yeah, no, get Matt Ryan some help, man. You're making that Super Bowl push. Atlanta Falcons, Lewis Seen. They get another safety. Uh, they did lose Harmon. But I really think Richie Grant hopefully emerges as a safety here. They used him a lot in the slot. And I just, I think I just like him better at safety. But eh, if that's where the value is, then go for it. Travis Jones, wonderful pick by the Browns. They get a little meatier on the inside. Try to stop that run, unlike, unlike they did last year. Baltimore Ravens, Fedarian Mathis. Listen, the dude is a solid player. If team's willing to take him in the second round, go for it. It's just the ceiling's not nearly as high as some other guys in this class. I get that. That's good H2O. But he's got a long frame, good technique. Not really a lateral player, but more of a linear guy, which is fine. Uh, Perry on Winfrey. Okay. So they really get a wrecking ball here. This guy's going to be a pass rush and nightmare. I like that. Perry was Darius and uh, Daniel Hunter. That's pretty solid. And then the Washington Commanders, Roger McCreary. I mean, it's a good scheme fit. I mean, he probably plays in the slot here. But I mean, so does Cameron Curl also played a lot there, so. I don't know. That's interesting. Trade Atlanta eyes a quarterback. Is it Sam Howell? There he is. Sam Howell. Sam Howell. Not getting a lot of love. He's getting some press this week just because the Steelers are meeting with him. Thank goodness. I do love me the uh, Sam Howell. I'm a big fan. He's quarterback two, I think, for me currently. Huge fan. But uh, golly gee, man. Atlanta. Who's their other pick? Lewis Sane, and then they go in the first round, they went Drake London. So this is interesting. This is definitely interesting. Uh, John Mechie going to the Saints. So they do end up getting a receiver, which is pretty nice. So good for them. Guy that uh, will really, really help out um, Michael Thomas there. So Trevon Walker, they also added... Jordan Davis. That's kind of, that's a freaky draft right now. Jeez. All right. Brees Hall going to the Chiefs. I get it. Hey. I wouldn't be surprised if this happened. Just because, you know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's all right, but for an, all intents and purposes, he's more of a pass catching back. Ronald Jones is a guy that, to be fair, got beat out by Leonard Fournette. Like two years in a row for the most part. It's kind of what happened. Um, Adam Brees Hall, like, it's, it's kind of nice. I mean, I, I still really would hope that the Chiefs go a little more defensive heavy. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, David Ajabo still making it to the Eagles. I'm telling you all, man, the Eagles really liked him before the injury. So seeing him mock to the Eagles is no big surprise to me. Uh, Jaquan Brisker going to the Steelers. I like that. That's good. That good. They, again, they could still re-sign Terrell Ed Edmonds. To be fair, he's coming off a career year. To also be fair, like, wasn't that high of a bar to set. So Brisker would be nice. Trey McBride going to do the Packers. So they did bring back Tunyon, but you could obviously upgrade over that. Tunyon's fine, but hey, man, McBride, he's probably easily the top tight end in this class. Uh, the Patriots, Kyrie Elam falling all the way here, man. This tells me the NFL might not be as high on Elam as some of us in YouTube land. But... uh. 
man, I do like me Elam, man. That would be a phenomenal pickup. Like, if I'm the Patriots, I'm considered taking him in the first. But they were able to come out of the first with, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember who they went in the first. Who did they go with in the first? Why don't you just list that at the bottom here? Like, who did they take in the first? Oh, N'Kobe Dean. That's right. Okay. So, wow. Defense. I like it. Arizona Cardinals. Nick Benito. This is actually a good scheme fit. I like that. I like that a lot. See, Nick Benito. It's weird. He could, like he falls in some of my drafts. It's going to take a team that has a role built in for him. Like He's not going to be good for every scheme. But I like him here for the cards. Dallas Cowboys. Bernhard Ryman. Another guy I'm really high on that... Apparently, no, no one else really is. I like Ryman a lot, man. Uh, so he would be a, he would be a good play here for the Cowboys. Buffalo Bills, Kenneth Walker, yeah, yeah. Everyone pegging the Bills to take our running back. Okay. Uh, do they do it? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe not. But Kenneth Walker's a hell of a back. And then the Bears get Jalen Tolbert. He sneaks here into the second round. There we go. I like Jalen Tolbert, man. The guy attacks the the catch point exceptionally well. He had to deal with a lot of inaccurate quarterbacks there at South Alabama. All right, Drake Jackson. Oh, this was another one I liked giving to the Packers. I like that. And he put on some weight and still moved pretty well. Like he's a guy that's gonna fit into the pat like into that rotation very nicely early on. And then Greg Dolchage. Oh, the next tight end. Wow. I wouldn't take another tight end until the third round. But I get it. They they have uh they have Cameron Bray and that's it. Uh Mr. Gronk still doesn't know if he's gonna come back. OJ Howard is with the Bills, so uh, I mean, if they jump the gun on another tight end, I guess it makes sense, but seems a bit early for the next tight end to come off the board. Nick Cross. This is my dude. I love Nick Cross. Spoiler alert. Straight up. Comp for Nick Cross. Laron Landry. I love it. This guy loves to hit. He comes in like a freaking... bullet train let's go with that uh uh he, he comes in with such velocity this dude just moves insanely i love it i love it chargers abraham lucas oh wow they straight up sure up the right side so you're gonna keep abraham lucas i think the dude can play left he did it at the senior bowl looked great he was actually probably the best looking tackle there so abraham lucas at right you got zion johnson your offensive line Seems set. I kind of like that. Because Zion Johnson feels like a safe prospect. Abraham Lucas is a safe prospect. I like that. Leo should know. My love. Uh, my my love interest at linebacker. Making it all the way here. Uh, Jermaine Pratt is a free agent next year. Hey, listen. You're not going to like what I have to say here, Bengals fans. Chanel's an upgrade. Like, Pratt's fine. He's a fine run stuffer, but that's about it. But, yeah, dude, I love that. I, uh, Chanel is going to be such a steal. Uh, then Daniel Falele. I'm not that high on Falele. I think he's a lot more raw than we what a lot of us probably expected. Like, he was all right this season, but the Senior Bowl wasn't great. The immovable mountain was put on his butt by jesse laquetta during drills it was it's been a rough off-season draft process for fala lele so i'm not entirely in love with that pick i don't know well this video is getting too long let me know what you think in the comment section below that's it for the video join us tonight for walk the mock i'm gonna put that up as this uploads uh and i think the uh the code for people to or the link for people to join, I'll make that live right at the beginning of the live stream. So, till next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.